2014, we have worked with uh, 25 ecosystems at the ground level uh, so far. So uh, in our work, we try to focus on activities where what type of challenges are ecosystem specific and what type of challenge and solutions and tools can be more covering uh, several different ecosystems um, uh, geographically or in the perspective of various business verticals. So why do we do this? Um, we see entrepreneurship-led innovation as the most positive and powerful driver to grow economies and develop and push societies forward. And specifically in startups, this focus and drive and energy is really encapsulated in format that is very agile and effective in delivering those innovations and finding solutions to, to problems at various scale. Uh, regardless of uh, many startups failing, still several of those concepts live also and are, are then replicated by others and spreading this way as well. Uh, so even the failures are contributing significantly for the society at large. Um, so because of these reasons, we have had a challenge to really try to focus on on how to scale the entrepreneurship and innovation. So how to find scalable ways to make as big impact uh, for innovation, entrepreneurship and startups as possible. And these are the background to really understand why do we operate in the ways we operate and, and why do we have so specific focus on one hand on our activities, uh, specifically scalability and some of the core concepts that we'll go through but also why do we have so broad offering at the same time that we don't uh, directly ourselves uh, facilitate to, to, to end users, so to speak, the startups and so forth. So hopefully we'll be able to cover this um, uh, with enough detail. So the, the startup ecosystems are really the key engine for, for enabling entrepreneurship and that's why we focus on, on uh, helping the startup ecosystem development. They really create maturity of the jobs, uh, they attract talent, they give uh, opportunities for younger people and also those who are in between uh, their kind of uh, next career moves and so forth. And then the, the, the core action, then how to really make ecosystems effective, there's many things that can be developed, but the, the single most effective thing is to improve the connectivity and, and, um, and matching of activities and all of those uh, different things that go into how to make the network connectivity very effective. That's the main key contributor for growth. So these are the reasons uh, why we have so specific focus on our, our own core activities. So our mission is purely to help scale entrepreneurship and innovation by empowering ecosystem development with common open framework, global best practices and digital transformation for systematic and more data driven development. The market from our perspective is that in the world, in the world there's more than a thousand cities that have more than half a million population. So there's many ecosystems to really work with. So therefore, we are not stuck with any single one. We are working with any ecosystem who are serious, committed and motivated to try and develop their ecosystem forward. There's another 4,000 and more ecosystems uh, or cities having a population between 100,000 and 500,000. And in this case, the, the size, the, the, the impact of size is merely a factor of what types of activities um, uh, ecosystems are having and what should be their strengths or what may be their challenges and, and depending on the size there can be you know some ecosystems within the ecosystem in one city already or the neighboring cities. But the main problem that we focus on is that every one of these ecosystems are struggling with this fragmented ecosystem information and connectivity problems. And we feel that this is a problem that 
if we are able to contribute this on a global scale to improve the network efficiency within the ecosystems themselves and even more broadly between the ecosystems, that can be the biggest single contributing factor that we can do for innovation and entrepreneurship. So our grand vision and, and, and to last time, this is not something that can easily be achieved, but this is what really drives our passion and drives our focus is to help digitalize, connect and enable real-time data flow within and between startup ecosystems globally. And there's many steps to get to this vision and all of these um, activities that we do are aligned to help contribute for this main vision while they are also independently effective as such. So the strategy part, how we do this, is also that we have a very neutral role to facilitate, uh, develop and improve and, and license open standard frameworks in a scalable uh, way including uh, startup education, innovation, entrepreneurship education, shared knowledge, best practices, and most importantly, then finally also the digital solutions <clears throat> to help enable the data flow uh, within and between uh, ecosystem with the help of local ecosystem developers and operators. So our offering or the key activities that we focus on is one is helping to create more open uh, shared global standard for, for innovation entrepreneurship education uh, a second part is to provide consulting and knowledge share uh, to to partner with the ecosystem developments on the ground to bring our global perspective and global practices by those who are sharing their own practices and by those that we are developing to help get resources and tools elsewhere for more efficient resource uh, utilization between ecosystems instead of everyone actually having to create everything by themselves over and over again. And finally, uh, for digitalizing uh, the, 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 the core activities and enabling the data to flow. <clears throat> 